over here. You won't let the have to do this. Dance my wife. Get your hands off of her. Damn it, Eddie, leave me alone. Eddie, why don't you just get the hell out of here? Hey! Hey, Eddie, what's going on? You lost your mind. <sighs> okay, Eddie, that's enough. All right, all right, I'm going. Take it! Going home and cool off, Eddie. about that. Yeah, just shut up your police station for putting a restraining order on me. If you want me, I'll be going north on US-41 in a blue Ford van. Come and get me. Right, well. We're northbound 553 near 452, headed your way. OK, Ronnie, I got you. Hit your lights and siren. <laughs> are nothing. We ain't nothing. Told you you're gonna have to shoot me if give you want up, this gun. Come on, I got you. Give it up. Told you you're gonna have to kill me. Come on, Eddie. You don't have to have it that way. Give up the gun. It's not a good situation when you're uh, you know, off, off into the woods and you're chasing somebody. The chances of uh, you being hurt or, or being shot are, uh, are great. And uh, you know that, that was in the back of our minds. We've been through situations similar to this in the past and have always been able to talk the individuals out of the weapon. Uh, this was the first time that my partner and I had run into a situation where we were not able to talk our way through the situation. Michael Boone and Joe Darcy were partners for two years before this incident, developing the kind of communication vital in their concern for each other's safety. This was the first time Trooper Darcy had to discharge his weapon. He is still on patrol in Marquette County. Mike Boone retired after 25 years of service as a trooper and is now a dispatcher with the Michigan State Police.